What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to do this glowing line effect. So here is my raw video clip and the first thing I'm going to do is add a tracker on the point where I want to add the line effect. So I'm going to select my video clip, go over here to trackers at the bottom and just press the plus symbol. Then I'm going to make this box really small and I wanna add the line effect to the front of the car here. So I'm going to track an area which has really good contrast so that the tracker will do a good job of tracking the area. So I'm going to put it on the number plate here because there's good contrast between the black and white. And then I'm just gonna click analyze and the green box should stay in the same place throughout the time that it analyzes the track. So that's done a really good job of doing the tracking. Next step, I'm going to copy and paste this video clip. And then I'm going to select the top video clip and then I'm going to go to my effects tab and just add the draw mask effect onto this. And then I'm going to draw around the part that I want to add the effect to. So once I have my mask drawn, what I'm going to do is select the, key, the transform tool over here, go to tracker, and then I'm just going to select the object track, which is the track that we made previously. And I'm also going to untick the rotation because I only want the position of the mask to be tracked. So now this mask throughout the video clip is tracked to the location that we want it to. You may have to make some adjustments to the edges. So next step is to add on this mask glow effect and this doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave it down in the description. It's a plugin that you can download and it has these really cool mask glow presets, which I can drag on to give the mask that glow effect. So I'm gonna add on just the simple mask glow for this one. So now if I play this back, we have this tracked mask glow effect. And then from here, what I can do is animate it on and off the screen. I could just add another mask to animate it on or another easy, really easy way to animate this is to go over to the transitions, go right to the bottom down to wipes. And I'm going to use this clock transition if I select the clock transition, I'm just going to drag the center point in the middle of the glow line and just turn down this, which will turn down the feather. So now if I play this back, it animates on and then animates off. If I go to the mask glow, we have all of these different parameters, which I can change. And I can also change the color of this as well. So now let's add another glow to the Mercedes badge and I'm going to copy and paste the bottom video clip again. And then I'm going to add on the draw mask effect. And I'm going to cut around the badge. And then I'm gonna to go to my transform tool, go up to the tracker, add on the track that we made earlier and also untick the rotation, click done. And then I'm going to add on another mask glow. And for this one, what I'm going to do is use the offset parameter over on the mask glow parameters to animate it on. So if I skip a few frames ahead, click a keyframe on the offset, then go to the beginning and just turn this offset down until we can't see the lines we get this really cool animation I'll do at the end as well. So now if I play this back, we get this really cool animation of the lines coming on using the offset and also animating off again. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I'll leave the link to the Mask Glow plugin in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.